Uh, was that kind of game what you were expecting for this first game in your records for yourself? Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, I wasn't super pleased with my play overall, but the uh, goal at the end there definitely felt good. And I think, uh, you know, is uh, heading in the right direction for me personally. But um, no, it's been a, it's been a great day, first day down here, getting to know the guys a little better and, um, you know, realizing there's a special group down here and that I can have influence on and, you know, be a hardworking guy that brings other guys to do that as well. So um, overall, it was a great day for uh, me and I think for the team as well. How much did everybody emphasize this matchup tonight? Or how much maybe did you pay attention during the playoffs last year that you didn't know that this was going to be physical and aggressive tonight? Yeah, no, I, I definitely knew going in um, from last year, the playoffs, and from the guys, um, you know, this morning and from our meetings talking about it. So um, I think this was a big game for us and one that um, the guys wanted to show that, you know, we could play. We could play with a tough team, a physical team, and um, I think we, I think we did a pretty good job of that tonight. And I think what's cool is that there's some you know a lot of learning opportunities for the young guys on our team, for me, for everybody. So a um, uh, great game to build off of. Considering you had not played in a couple of weeks and you only had a morning skate, I mean, did you expect it might be kind of feeling out the process tonight or whatever you want to call it? It might take a little while to get going. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, for me personally, definitely um, a little bit. I kind of just want to get my legs into it a little bit. Um, but definitely got a little frustrated with myself there throughout the game for not making plays that um, I think I'm capable of making and winning battles I'm capable of um, winning. So I think, you know, and that's what I'm focusing on being down here right now is improving on those things. So, um, you know, that's one disappointment for me is, I let frustration get in the way a little bit instead of just focusing on that next shift and um, improving. So um, I learned that tonight. But um, yeah, I, I guess sometimes you do got to give yourself a little bit of a break when you haven't played and um, when it's been a little bit of a whirlwind. So yeah. What do you What do you tell yourself as this transition is happening? And, you know, as you kind of process the move. Yeah, I mean. Um, you know, changes can be tough for sure for, you know, no matter what it is. But I think my belief is um, I got to focus on the work. And um, I mentioned this morning, you know, I, I just want to improve as a hockey player and focus on, you know, myself improving, being a, a guy that influences these younger guys and all my teammates around me to, you know, get better and challenge them and, um, you know, push them to work harder. I think that's uh, what I'm focusing on that day to day and not really, you know, looking too far in the future, just kind of, you know what, I'm, I'm here, I'm going to work my butt off to become a better hockey player and um, see where that takes me. What stands out about the just play the flow of an AHL game when you get out there? Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to <laughs> explain really. It's definitely different. I haven't played a ton down here in, in the AHL actually, so, um, you know, it's it's a little bit of a different style in ways for sure. Um, you know, but you know, guys, the guys are battling r real hard, and um, yeah, you gotta be smart with the puck because it, it can turn around quickly if you're not. So um, I don't really know how to exactly explain the this the difference in style, but um, I guess I'll learn as I go on a little bit more. So you finally get through the first game, play the full game. What's your, I guess, second impression of the Rochester Americans now that you've played a game of hockey with them? Yeah, no, I mean, it's a special group here. Uh, from the older guys who are the leaders in the locker room, um, I, I could tell that right away. Uh, they're fantastic leaders. They say all the right things, do all the right things. They're fun guys to be around. So that's really cool. And I mean, you can see that with the young guys that have come up in this organization, they're getting good leadership, you know, from the coaches and also the guys. So that's that's cool to be a part of. And there's a lot I can learn from, you know, Mersh and Malone and those guys, Prowl, all those guys. Um, so, you know, they, they, they f figured out how to be a very impactful leader. So I think that's cool. And, you know, there's a lot of excitement with these young kids who are, you know, learning to play hockey, 
at a pro at the pro level and they're hungry and um you know all seem like great dudes so far so uh it, there's a lot of excitement in that room and you can tell right away it's a special group is there a specific area of your game that you want to make sure you improve for next game um i would say um you know being a little bit better and in, in battles i'm in and more consistent in winning those I think, you know, I've, I've played a good amount of NHL games. I know how to win battles and I, I got to be more consistent with that, um, especially down here. I think that's one area, you know, of my game that I can, I want to improve on for myself, but also I want to show that example to the guys here about, you know, you know, that's, that's a huge part of playing in the NHL, winning those battles and finding ways to do so. So, yeah, I would say that's, going to be a focus going in the next game for me.